Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel German Talks. Today we are going to start the new book that is Netzwerk Neu of A2. Again, this is the new book of Netzwerk Neu. There is one more book which is old one, but now currently this one is the new one in which Goethe is also using this one. This is the new version. So we are going to start with this book. Now, if you want this book, just message me on my Instagram German slash talks and I'm going to send you the Google Drive link. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram. There I every day I upload uh, vocabulary related to German language here and also additional information about Germany. So you can follow me on my Instagram. Now, in this Netzwerk Neu, whatever we did in Netzwerk E1, these all are the advanced version which will going to come in Netzwerk Neu of A2. And same process will going to continue in B1 also. For example, we did A1. Now whatever we did here in A1, that part will also come in A2. And whatever we did in A1 in A2, both, that both part will going to come in B1. I will give you an example. For example, here in chapter number one, grammatic. In grammatic, what we are going to learn in this chapter, genitive, name plus S. This we already did in A1. It's a very small topic in A1. Now we are further we are going to do in A2. Again, Vida Holum, perfect. Perfect we did in A1, chapter number seven. And again, we are going to do in a2 and when we are doing chapter number 7 in a1 i told you that this perfect topic is very important in german language also and also exam point of view that's why in chapter number one only of a2 they put perfect the new topic and i will tell you the core of a2 is this connectors the new additional thing which we are going to do in a2 that is while and there are many connectors like this what are connectors i will give you just a small example so that you will get to know that okay this type of connectors we are going to do in a2 these connectors are simply connects two two sentences in what we are going what we are doing in a1 we are just uh, making some uh, simple sentences we are not doing any two sentence or three sentence yes in A1, we are just making some simple sentence like this. Now in A2, what we are going to do? We are going to again introduce a connector. For example, here we made same like A1, a simple sentence. But now here some connectors will come. For example, this while, it's a connector. So while and again some sentence. And this is some one simple sentence. And same like this. You are going to connect more uh, connectors like this. Okay. So, in A2, more than 7, approx 7 to 10 connectors we are going to do in A2. So, this is the new part. And this both we already did in A1. But again, we are going to repeat. Or also you can say, we are going to further improve whatever we did in A1. Okay. Okay. So, chapter number one. Was und was Max do and what you do. Again, conjugated according to subject. Machen. Yes. Now, Frage number eins A. Was machen die Personen of den photos? Wo sind sie? Sprechen sie so? Right. What people are doing in the photos? And where are they? And we need to see it. For example, A. Picture number one, A. Again, there are four pictures. A, B, C, D, un, A. Five. Now, first one. Meine Eltern sind schon Rentner und leben auf dem Land. Meine Eltern. Parents are already 
now new word rent what does this mean retired person okay and if i want to say pension then rent and it takes feminine and this one takes masculine un leben of them lang and live in the un leben of them lang ich habe einen bruder und eine schwester i have a brother and a sister meine bruder ist geschieden now what does this mean again new word geschieden means divorced i will write it here and if i want to make it as a verb then shade them un hat eine doktor z is total suz she is totally sweet suz meine schwester hat noch keine kinder and my sister had uh, no more children ich auch nicht i also don't have aber in eine paar jahre möchte ich gerne kinder haben but in couple of years i want to have a children so this is the text one now second one nach der schule habe ich eine ausbildung gemacht und jetzt arbeite ich als bank frau bank auf frau so nach der schule again this complete will be one after the school and then verb because what what we studied in a1 that a verb will come at second position yes so that's why this one complete it's in first like how you will get to know that this complete is in first position that is the part of b1 okay right now why i'm explaining this so that you don't get confused that why here it looks like 1 2 3 4 so on so right now you just need to consider it as a one single part so nag the shule and then your verb and it this verb is conjugated according to ish nag the shule habe ich eine ausbildung gemacht that after the school i have done, did my ausbildung und jetzt and now arbeite ich als bank kauffrau again new word bank kauffrau what does this means bank clerk Ich habe nette Kollegen und meine Arbeit macht macht mir Spaß and I have a, a good nice colleagues and my work makes me fun. Aber vielleicht studiere ich auch noch in der Uni mal sehen. Aber but maybe it's an important word here vielleicht maybe she is not sure. Vielleicht, maybe. I study. I study in the university. Let's see. Mal sehen means let's see. So, picture number third. My name Muta comes out of Austria, and my father is in Italian Gebirgen. Again, Austria. so my mother comes from austria and my father is in uh, born in italian ich habe ich habe also zwei muttersprache so obviously mother from austria and father from italian so he is saying that ich habe also zwei muttersprache so he is having two mother languages und spreche italienisch und deutsch flizen and he can speak italian and deutsch and 
fluent again adjective quality ich habe auch englisch und französisch gelernt i have also now one thing we'll see it here habe and gelernt again the sentence is in perfect form okay a1 chapter 7 grammar ich habe auch englisch und französisch gelernt französisch french aber französisch spreche ich noch ein bisschen but french i speak still a little bit ein bisschen next picture ich komme aus basel und lebe jetzt in zürich meine freundin und ich haben einen apartment im student in start zentrum city center so i come from here and and i live now in zurich mein freundin und ich habe eine apartment and where the apartment is in the city center we have been as zusammen renoviert we had together a uh, renoviert the apartment as is klein it is small but uh, shown but beautiful uh, it is a small apartment but it is very be- beautiful good uns gefällt das leben in der stadt and we like to live in the city aber manchmal ist es ist es noch ein bisschen laut und stressig obviously if you are living in the city then it is a little bit loud and stressish exhausting next picture ich treffe gern meine freundinnen und freunde dann kochen wir zusammen oder gehen im restaurant now i meet with my friends treffen meet dann kochen we cook we cook together zusammen oder gehen ins restaurant and we go in the restaurant ich mache auch gern sport i also like to do sports ich spiele basketball und ich reite again reiten means to ride and this is conjugated according to ish meine eltern haben ein pferd again my my parents have a horse am wochenende auf dem sofa liegen und ein uh, gutes book and in weekends i lie on the sofa and i read a good books das finde ich auch toll and that i find it good so again exam point of view you cannot skip this type of exercise because at the end you need to do lesson in your a1 a2 exam and on and also if you are going to, if you are going to come in germany for work or for studies everywhere you will see german language it, it's not like everywhere english is there so just take all this type of text positively and improve your this lesson part each and every day vocabularies and on so this i hope this text is clear to you what they are trying to speak now eins b lesen sie die texte we need to read the text wer spricht über welches thema ordnen sie so so eins b eins sprachen languages now what we need to do we need to read the text and we need to see uh, wer spricht über welches thema who speaks about which thema now sprachen who speak in the text about sprachen languages from here we can say he is this one he is always talking about family here about work here this about a uh, family work and here yes he was talking about uh, languages what he can speak uh, his mother come from austria father italian 
and so on and also he knows a bit of french in, in day he is talking about mostly about uh, the apartment and here they are talking about uh, friends and all what they are doing in weekends so we can say for this one sprachen languages that this picture is talking about the picture number is c beruf beruf who was talking about beruf as we as i said here he was talking about a uh, family and here she talked about a uh, beruf work profession so be family who talked about family you can see here he he always from starting he was talking about uh, parents retired parents then brother sister and also he wants to have a children in couple of years so a ah. freizeit free time who talked about free time we can see here am wochenende ya free time auf dem sofa liegen und ein gutes buch lesen so he they talk about here a uh, free time so e and wohnen to live yes and who talk about that this this one apartment and the and he he was always talking about the city uh, renovated uh, and it is loud stressing and so on so picture number is d so like this so in exam also if this type of exercise come you just need to read for example this text and you need to summarize it that okay which at the end what he is talking about every time for example family here he or work here about the location uh wonen and here languages and here about the free time so i hope this eins b is also clear to you now eins c sammeln sie zu dem themen in eins b wörter auf aus den texten ergänzen sie zu jedem thema drei weitere wörter now what we need to do here we have a thema in eins a in eins b sprachen beruf familie freizeit und wohnen now they are telling us that related to this we need to add three more words from the text for example we have here sprachen languages now they are telling us that from the text you need to add more information related to sprachen so we will see for example here österreich italian franzosisch and so on so i can write in here additional three words okay so i'm not writing i just uh, mark it here for example this sprachen österreich italian franzosisch english deutsch so i had add more information in sprachen the next thema is beruf work second one is beruf so let's see for beruf what informations i can write in beruf occupation so rent na pension again related to work and here she told about house building bank ka frau arbeit and so on studiere studi uh, student so you need to write it here okay i'm just highlighting there you need to write it here family again related to family what will going to come we need to check so mostly he was the guy who's talking about family so we can find a answer here mostly bruder schwester gescheiden divorced doctor kinder so these all are the words related to fa family 
<coughs> fourth one we will see phrasite free time so we need to find words which are mostly related to free time so in free time we can do renovate renovation and friend in and friend in free time we meet our friends Treffen, and we can cook together. So zusammen kochen, gehen im Restaurant, and spielen and so on. Spielen, book, uh, lesen, lesen, and uh, writen. Okay. Wohnen. Again, word related to wohnen. Let's see. Of them, land, leben, apartment, Start centrum, city centrum, where you can live. Loud, stressish, one. You can also find it here more. <clears throat> Related to uh, to live, sofa. Okay. So, as I said, this type of exercise is very important. So, for example. Right now, we first in question number first we read all this, and now we are testing our knowledge in in Ains Bay in Ains say that okay we understood whole text. Now in uh, question number Zwaya, we are going to do the Huron exercise, and then we are going to start with our again a big text. See now you need to uh, come in that habit that now we are going to read the big big text. Now we are in A two. And also in B one, we are going to have more big text. So, don't get afraid with all this. Just be ready that as we are uh, uh, doing every day, these lectures make separate uh, vocabulary book because in A two, some of the vocabulary is always repeat. Yes. Yeah? So at at the when you are uh, watching these lectures at the by side, also make the vocabulary list. Okay, when we in starting when we see all these big texts, we get afraid. Oh, they are so big texts, but it's all are very easy. For example, right now what we did here, they are they it seems like oh they are difficult, but they are all very easy. If your vocabulary, your small small grammar concepts are very clear, then you will not find any difficulty in this book also and also in Goethe exam and also if you are going to come in Germany. So today I'm going to do till here. uh i'm not going to do this huron part because uh i don't know whether you all are having this book or not with you so what you need to do just message me i hope today you all are going to see this lecture so just message me on my instagram here okay wait german slash talks and i'm going to send you the google drive link and also follow me on my instagram as i said there are all, uh, also upload daily vocabulary related to a1 and a2 which are there in netswork book so i hope uh, you all are very excited with this netswork noy book and if you have any questions any doubts anything you want to ask please let me know in the comments and also you can message me on my instagram so that's all for today off it again ciao ciao